just when you thought it was safe to go back to the radio. After getting comfortable with the commonplace. Happy with the humdrum. A new voice is about to emerge on the airwaves that will have listeners screaming. With delight. Yeah! Allow me to introduce Ross Wilson, a.k.a. Ramblin' Ross. Well, I couldn't have said it better myself, Mr. Narrator-type guy. Ramblin' Ross here. Uh, listen, I gotta tell you, I've been uh, dreaming about a job in radio for a really long time. It is my wish to entertain and make people feel good. Yes, he can be as smarmy as a lounge lizard. I gotta say, I, I can't even see you, but I can tell her you look marvelous. But he can also be brutally frank. Is it just me, or is Madonna getting a little old for the whips and spurs and leather thing? I mean, talk about grasping at the straws of youth. And I'll have you know that my plastic surgeon agrees with me wholeheartedly. Yet Ross has his sensitive side. I just love animals. We have two cats at home. A cute little tabby, Kia. Uh, she still acts like a kitten. Incredibly delightful. And we also have a humongous gray semi-Persian, actually about the size of a semi. My funnier friends refer to him as Jabba the Cat. But my wife and I still love the big boy anyway, and, well, until it's time to clean the litter box. However, he's not afraid to tackle controversial issues. Gas prices? Don't get me started. His knowledge of music is amazingly eclectic. I listen to pretty much everything. Uh, Hendrix, Harry Nielsen, Duke Ellington, Dylan, Pat Metheny, Beethoven, you name it. Don't forget Bach. Ah, Bach, my favorite German beer. And he's a local boy. I've lived in Ottawa all my life, um, except for all the years I lived somewhere else. Ross is extremely well-traveled. I've spent time on four different continents, and let me tell you, the Mexican prison was the absolute worst. Uh, really happy to say adios to Casa del Confinement. He's no would-be amateur either. Ross has been in showbiz for many, many years. Yeah, I've acted on stage, the big screen, the small screen, radio, I've written for all sorts of media, and when I lived in London, England years ago, I also wrote home for money. Often. Plus, he's a graduate of the prestigious National Institute of Broadcasting in Toronto. The NIB is very selective. Only people with the money for the fee were allowed in. One guy was actually a mime. I'd, I'd really like to hear his demo. Ross is also very family-oriented. I'm the youngest of five boys, and even after all these years, we're still very close, all of us. Uh, sure, we've had our differences of opinion, but no charges have ever been laid. Successfully. And best of all, Ross is very, very funny. Um, I got nothing. Okay. So, if you're extremely lucky, one day soon you'll turn on the radio and you'll hear... You've been listening to Ramblin' Ross. Happy to wake up every day, talk to you, play some tunes, and not see the inside of a coffin. Catch you on the A-side. Ciao for now. So don't be afraid. Go back to the radio. It's really not as scary as it might sound. Ah! Um, Ross? You okay? Yeah, I, I just tripped over Jabba the Cat. Call Ross. He's listening.